Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome back to Shovel Knight. Last time we explored the village before meeting a giant magical apple fish and then we braved the Lich Yard to defeat Spectre Knight. But looks like today we're gonna have to save the village from whatever these weird wandering warriors are. Whoa, I think they just wander around the map, kind of like Mario Brothers 3, the little Hammer Brother guys. Ugh, man, there's stuff everywhere to hit us. Let's try to get that out of the way. Ah, no! Oh, almost fell down that pit. This dragon is swooping more than you usually see them do. Gotta be very careful. Get back in the flow of things. There we go, we bounce like way off screen. No! Oh, at least he can't hit me when I'm in the chest. I guess I'm like immune. There we go. Kill both of them. Now I can use my little bouncy ball on this guy. Ugh. He, he, the skeletons narrowly like run out of the way when you come after them, so they're very tough to get. There we go. All right, who are we up going up against? Oh, I guess we beat him. Okay, <laughs> that little guy wasn't even there, but I think we'll see that enemy in the future. We're gonna stop at the village real quick because I need to uh, sell some of these pages to the bard. Do a bit stocking up here. Ooh, you have four music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found La Danse Macabre. Dead crowd tonight, says I. Lesson learned. Never to crack jokes in a graveyard. Never, ever. So he went the Lich Yard to perform, I guess. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform with you any time. Just ask. All right. Let's see if I can upgrade my health. At least going back to the village healed us. That's nice. What's up, goat guy? Oh, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health, or should I just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket? Hmm, sure. There we go. So we can get our health up again. I guess that's worth all that money. I do need the life. I tend to get hit fairly frequently. I gotta be careful. I'm get, we're getting a little better at the game, but yeah. Okay. Bon appetit and pardon the mess. All right. Let's go have this delicious... Is it another, like, raw steak? We'll see. It was a little rare last time. Ooh, what is that? I can't even tell. It kind of looks gross, but at least it's good for us. Do we have enough money to upgrade our magic? Let's see. Increase my maximum magic. That's pretty expensive, but let's do it. I need the magic so I can throw my weird little chaos orbs around. Let me see what's going on with uh, Chester down here. The little marvelous Chester guy. What's going on? Psst, that King Knight. Oh, give him an inch. He thinks he's a ruler. Oh, we need to talk to the one lady because she said if I beat Spectre Knight, she'd help me. Hey, you bought up all the relics I had on hand, but don't worry. I'm already planning my next trip. All right, so we got the relic. What does the Trouble Acolyte have to say? Hello, fish friend. I'll have the Trouble King. All right, so see ya. We've got one of the chalices already. I actually need to go refill that real quick. Hopefully, uh, I can do that off camera if he's gonna do that dance again. You defeated Spectre Knight, now behold my greatest treasure. Dance! What? <laughs> but I thought the reward would be a little better than a lady's dancing. Okay, but <laughs> she <laughs> she's dancing on the bar. The deposed king is really happy about it. Thank you, Miss Broccoli Head. All right, <laughs> she's going crazy. Get off the bar, lady. I want some actual treasure. All right, well, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, we did get a page. Okay, cool. I can give that to the bard. Let's just head back. I can give that to him next time. I think we should get going here and uh, see what there is to see. What's going on, little hoop kid? Can I dig this up? I don't think this had any treasure in it. It was just there for me to dig to make the little hedgehog guy happy. Jump on that lady, and away we go. I'm going to go see the Treple King real quick, and then we'll head on to King Knight's domain. Okay, that was much faster this time. On to Pride More Keep. And let's dig in. So I've got my uh, my little trouble chalice here in case we need to fill our health again. We've got more health now, too, thanks to that little upgrade. And this place is cool as well. It's crazy tile, uh, giant castle here. Still little uh, <laughs> little cicada guys walking around, though. They, these things are infesting everywhere. It must be summer, just like it is here. That's when the cicadas come out. Ugh. Aw. That little horse guy. That was, thing was adorable. He, like, rammed me with his little lance, and then it broke off. Gotta look out for the boiling acid or whatever that is dropping down. This is one of the defenses they used to use in real medieval castles. They would just dump huge vats of uh, of boiling acid or water or whatever. Ugh, nope, or oil is what I meant, sorry. Not acid, <laughs> they used oil. Ugh, can I hit that? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh, there's something sparkling there. We get to use our fishing rod, guys. Let me uh, get this dig out of the way. Get this pile going here. There we go. We got tons of money. All right, let me get my fishing rod out, and we should be able to. There we go. What do we got down there? We pull it up. Oh, I didn't get anything. Maybe we need to be up here and try it right there, because we're supposed to go do it where the sparklies are. There we go. I got a. I got a catch. What is it? 
Whoa, a fish. Whoa, it was worth a lot of money. All right, there we go. It was like a golden fish. Okay. Well, we gotta keep my eyes open for more of those because they're definitely worth it. <laughs> it's pro I think they're called propeller rats. They're little adorable rat guys that uh, they're just tied to weird little helicopter things. All right. <laughs> I feel bad for them a little bit. They're so cute. Gotta be very careful here. The boiling oil will not feel good against mine skin. Hey, propeller rats. They're gonna be a little tough to get by if they wanna fly up there or I can't reach them. Bounce that bug. Whoa. Hey, little dude. I wonder if I can bounce these back at this guy. He's shooting little things at me. There we go. Got him. Ha ha. I need to get closer, though, if I want to hit him. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Take that, magician. With your vile magic. No match for my shovel. There we go. Oh, is this a secret? Yeah. I'm always on the lookout for what the little secret marker is in each stage. It was a skull in the last one. This one has that thing. Is that guy alive? Whoa. I knocked his head off. That's cool. Oh, can we? Oh, he collected it or something. There we go. I think I'm going to leave that checkpoint. I could destroy it and get more money, but I think we're doing good gold-wise. There's one of those dudes. They were uh, the Hammer Brother-ish guys. Whoa! Hey, hey! I can't get him that way. We, he's actually a bit tougher. This is another Zelda 2 influence, trying to uh, fight enemies that can actually block your attacks. That was a really cool feature that they haven't... Well, I guess they brought back with uh, some of the combat in the later games, but the uh, Zelda 2 was really the first game where the combat was a bit more complicated. Ah. Uh, can I go back and uh, go forward and come back? I wonder if the little dudes will respawn. There they are. Oh, I <laughs> ran into one on accident. See if I can bounce. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Try this. There we go. Got it. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Bounce off of them. But yeah, Zelda 2, they, uh, they made the combat a little more interesting because you have to actually aim at different uh, directions, up or down, and you can do the jump, like, down stab on them, kind of like that. The pogo-y nature of the shovel in this was definitely taken from DuckTales, but... Yeah, there's a lot of Zelda 2 influence in this. It's pretty cool. Ugh, don't want to hit these chandeliers. There we go. If we're quick enough, we can uh, use it to ride up. I like how there's little candles in the background. They did kind of like the thing that a lot of older games do, where they will uh, use minimal stuff to... Uh, uh, this is going to be tough. Minimal uh, things to try to uh, get a lot of thing stuff going. What are we... What the heck? I matched up on this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was a secret. I went in the wall. There we go. I think we're going a tougher path here, guys. But yeah, trying to use minimal sprites to uh, to make your, your stuff look detailed is pretty cool. Hey, Chester! In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. What do we get? Conjure Fiery Blast. That looks pretty cool. How much does that cost? Four! It's a little cheaper than my little bouncy thing. There we go. Alright, so we got this cool fire rod. I'm glad that we came and found Chester. All right, go through there. There we go. I just have to stand there for a moment and it'll take me through. Cool. So he's like hidden in every level. You just gotta know where to find him and he'll uh, he'll sell you relics and stuff. No! Oh my gosh, my money! So this is a, uh, a feature of this game. If I go back there and get that money, kind of Dark Souls-esque, I can recover quite a bit of my cash even though I died. So we gotta kind of head back to that spot. I didn't think that oil was gonna come out and hit me. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to be a little more careful next time. It should be right down here, right? So if I can grab these. They're floating, though. That's not fair. Oh, jeez. Grab one. Oh, no. I'm a little worried I'm going to die and lose more stuff if I do this. Go, go, go. There we go. Got them all. All right, now i got to wait for its timing. Okay, next time it goes, then I'm jumping. Go, go, go. There we go. Got it. All right. <laughs> timing was a little tricky there, but I got my money back for the most part, I think. So yeah, it has that Dark Souls aspect where it's like, you can try to risk to go get your stuff again, but it might uh, might behoove you to just keep going if it's too risky. Try my fiery wand out. There we go. Get a lot of my magic back here, so it's worth using. Apple, thank you very much. I'm just going to deflect this guy's thing instead of using all my magic up on him. Blam! <laughs> Blow him up there. Oh, there's something hidden over here as well. What's going on? But that knight's going to come come to life or something. I want to leave some of these things. Nope, he's dead. Okay, I can hit this. <laughs> wonder if there's something cool about throwing that around. Don't want to break those yet, because I think we can get through here. Ugh, I'm going to shoot him if I can. Blam! <laughs> you can kill two birds with one stone if I just dig while I uh, I hit the thing back at the same time. There we go. Ooh, secrets. What's over here? Oh, even more. Nice. <laughs> you got to always check, because they'll do that in a lot of these games where it's like, there's the obvious secret. Where's the, you know, hidden one that's right near it that you would ignore because you just got a normal secret, so you wouldn't be expecting it. 
Ooh, I do want to get that checkpoint, but I don't know if it's worth going down. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's a griffin! That's awesome. That was in one of the trailers for the game. Pretty cool looking. There we go. Whoa, what did I just get up there? Ah, I didn't mean to hit the checkpoint. I gotta be careful. I meant to hit it, but not hit it. <laughs> you guys know what I meant. <laughs> don't want to break the checkpoints in this game. Unless you really want the, uh, the extra gems. Oh, jeez. Look out! Ah! Ah! No! That guy almost knocked me off. I gotta hide here. Maybe he'll, uh, avoid it. There we go. Where do I hit this guy? There we go, right in his face. Gotta hit him right there. I don't want to use up all my magic on him. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we'll get too close. There we go. It's the dragon of this level. They always have that one enemy that's so big. In older games, they would be, like, part of the background. Oh, man, the checkpoint. I could have broken that other one. Since these, there was one right here. Maybe I'll break this one, because then I can just go back to the other one and beat the griffin again easily. There we go. Getting some more magic back. Trying to get as much as I can. <laughs> these poor rats. I actually really feel bad for them, because they're just kind of... They, they didn't choose this life. <laughs> but yet, they have to They have to go through life being weird little propeller rats. Oh, I wonder if I could... Oh, this would be tough. I bet I would need, like, two of them to do this. But I bet if I get it close enough, I could bounce off of him and get up there. Let me see if I can get him to fly up. Oh, yeah, a little bit up. A little bit more up. There we go! Yeah! All right. I bet this is a secret. Because, yeah, you had to use the propeller rats to get over here. Here we go. I made it some secret area. What is this? There's lots of magicians everywhere. Oh, there was a hole I didn't mean to fall into. Man, these stages are filled with so many secret things. We must be ever alert to catch them all in our quest for chivalry. I didn't mean to do that. Look out. Ah. <laughs> these weird little magicians. They look like they're from like a Jim Henson thing. They got this little faces. Actually, they kind of remind me of... Uh, Tom, was his name Toneberry? The one enemy that... From Final Fantasy, he was always super creepy because he had, like, a knife. And, uh, he would just kind of, like, march towards you. And I think if he got close enough to you, he would, uh, kill you. What the heck? I want to get in there. There we go. I was trying to do it a fancy way, but I didn't need to. All I had to do was jump up. Um, but yeah, the Toneberry, Master Toneberry or whatever, he would, uh, he would kill you in, like, one hit if he got close, I think. He was kind of tough to fight and creepy, but yeah. Oh, is there a... There's gotta be a secret here, right? Or is this a dead end? Got lots of treasure. I guess that was worth going through here. Alright, so I think we gotta head back to where, whence we came. Can I even get up there now? Oh no! Oh, there we go. I think we're good. Cool, tons of treasure in there. We just gained back, like, the majority of our money that we spent in town. We can use these propeller rats to hopefully get some more, uh, stuff. Hey, I think you're supposed to use them like a staircase there, because you can see they're all, like, lined up in a row. These always, these, uh, banners here, the tapestries, have hidden secrets behind them. Hidden money gems. Alright, we're gonna fill up on our stuff, so I probably should use it to, uh, get rid of these horsemen. Hello, guys. How about you charge at each other? That'll be funny. Oh, nope! They didn't hit each other! Oh, no! Now I can't get up there now. Uh, uh, I hate when I can't do a thing in a game. And I don't think we can go back, actually, because I jumped down. You gotta be careful. Shovel Knight is not the best at jumping! <laughs> so if you lose a way, you might not be able to get back to, uh, to get back up there again and use it. Oh, I'm gonna hit you with this thing! <laughs> what have you, Knight? Die! He's vulnerable on his back and when he has his shield up. There we go. Something hidden down here? Looks like this is... There's always the things that, yeah, you can destroy them, and if I, if I do it too quickly, get a little overzealous, then we, uh, we can't find what secrets hide. There we go. They're up in the gem count behind the tapestries. Up to ten now. Uh-oh. Is that a monster book? A monster manual? Find that out when we come back, maybe. Actually, I kind of want to see, because this might be just uh, not a dead end. Let me see what it is. Hello. Evil tomb! Oh. Oh, cool. It's not actually evil. It helps you get back up. Kind of like the vanishing blocks in, uh, in the old Mega Man games there. Hello, helmet. Something hidden up here with you? I wonder. You can kind of hit this thing around. Oh, I wonder if I have to, like, bring it with me. Oh, jeez. Propeller rat, get out of my way. Gotta be very careful of these guys. <laughs> I don't want to lose anything. Oh, I have to jump off, maybe? Or I can jump while I'm on this thing. There we go. Got it. We're gonna lose those, but anything secret in this wall? <laughs> dig it up, dig it up. That's what my motto is. All right. I, w I bet if I could bounce off of that, there would be something hidden, but I don't know. It connects. Probably not. Anything hidden in this wall? Gotta see. Gotta try. Can I jump on this bookcase? Nope. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. I have to jump on those books, right? What if I pogo off of it? There we go. Aha! Got it. 
You always gotta use it, what's in your surroundings here. Look out for the hot oil. Hurry. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, the book closed. I gotta get, oh, there's a fishing spot anyways, so I don't wanna lose it. Oh man, I shot so many of those. Gotta be careful with my fiery wand here. That sounded strange. All right, let's grab our fishing hook. Do a little fishing. Anything good? Kinda have to like wait a minute, just like real fishing. Whoa, it's a truffle. Wait, stay thy folk, knight. I bring gifts from the Treble King. Oh, but you cannot carry anymore. Come find me again once you have a spare chalice. Oh, I should have bought that second chalice. That's what I always say. <laughs> I'd missed out on the second chalice there. I could have uh, filled it very easily with that. Let's switch our weapon back. I like the fiery wand. It shoots out in a more normal trajectory, but, uh, oh no. I want to bounce on this so that it doesn't close. Hopefully I have enough time. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a weird noise. But I wanted to, I really wanted to make sure I got in there and uh, got that. I bet we're close to the boss, guys, because look, we're uh, getting a ton of health and stuff. I wonder if there's something secret up there. Maybe not. Yep, we're all filled up. Ready to go. Hit all the tapestries on the way back. And I think this is it. Oh, nope, it's a griffin. Ah, ah. There we go. If I hide in this one spot, I think I'm pretty good. I don't want to use all my magic on this guy, though, actually. So I might try to hit him. Oh, no. That took a little bit of my life. Come on, Griffin. Die. Oh, he's, he's still, like, passively swiping with his claw. There we go. I could have used more magic, because now I'm all filled up again. I think we are almost there, I hope. Here's a nice little checkpoint. Filled up on magic. Is it? It is. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. <laughs> I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real knight. King, <laughs> you are a real knight. Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulous and regal self, and now all bow before me. He's stolen the crown of the real king. You're not but a decadent dandy. <laughs> Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. All right, it's time to fight King Knight. I have no idea what this guy does. He, does, he bounces around. That's what he does. Hey, buddy. i shoot you with a fiery wand. Whoa, he does a little slam attack. Try to bounce on him. Ah, uh, I didn't pull my pogo out there fast enough. There we go. Uh, you're not so tough. Uh, if I, I gotta make sure when I'm, when I'm dropping that I always, uh, pogo. That way I can uh, land on him. Uh oh, what the heck? He brought out the trumpets. Little confetti's flying down. Be very careful. There we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Use my fiery wand. He's got like a cool samurai attack. Blam, blam, blam. You're not so tough. You're the knave. <laughs> Prepare to die, King Knight. Ah, he's almost dead. A couple more good hits. Blam! There goes that crown. Sound the trumpets. The King Knight is dead. Another member of the Order of No Quarter defeated. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And yeah, we're getting better, I think. Or he was a bit easier than Spectre Knight, that's for sure. Oh, we got a nice chest there full of treasures. Can we go look at it? We're just kind of hanging out. Are we going to have another dream? I hope it's not another tragic dream. We're going up into the sky. Oh no. Shield Knight. It's you, Shield Knight. We must catch her. Don't let her fall. This might be a little tougher than before, since it's a uh, later stage. Catch her. Save her. Oh my gosh, there's there's enemies here. I gotta look out. Oh, do I have to kill all the enemies to save her? I hope not, because I'm not going to get them necessarily. Oh, oh. Get her. Get her. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies. I don't know if I can beat them all. Ah, 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 get out of my way. No, jump up. Oh, I touched her at least. <laughs> that was weird. Wait, man, that was like overwhelming. Kind of like a real nightmare. You're just like overwhelmed with stuff. All right, wake up, Shovel Knight. We're never going to save her if we sleep. Come on, let's put this fire out. Open this chest up and see what we got. Thank you guys for watching once again. Ooh, nice, we got another meal ticket. Who left that there? I don't know, but we're gonna go back to the village and upgrade our health before we head on to the next area. Thank you guys for watching, we have unlocked it. Whoa, big old part of the map revealed. Look at that, wow. All right, see you guys next time for more Shovel Knight.